Well, hey, YouTube, how are y'all doing? I hope you're having a good day. So this is Steve at Thousand Year Home. Uh, I am working on the drywall here. Look how, how good it's turning out. So uh, I'm not fast at it, but it's good when I'm done. So over the top of this will be uh, Italian plaster with uh, with genuine quartz in it. So it should should have a luminosity about it. But I hit, hit a little barrier here. So that's the ceiling right there. And if you all notice, you'll see there's a gap. So that gap I want to bridge with painted panels. So what I need to do is measure that out and put that uh, put the panels in place before I drywall. Otherwise, the drywall will sag, and I'll have an ugly uh, ugly sag. Or when I push it up, it'll have a bow and or crack the joints. So this particular part of the wall, you'll see it's uh, it's not done. And that particular part of the wall, I drywalled. So. Uh, let's go ahead through the little process here and on how I'm going to do that. Let's uh, lay out all my panels and start uh, start doing a little experiment. Horses are right on time. So I'm laying out the, uh, the painted wood that I bought. And you could tell that these are Asian. But I'm going to cut them up in such a manner... Uh, because they're all split so I'll cut them up in such a manner that they'll have a Spanish mission vibe about them you know wherever there's an obvious uh, Asian flair I could probably cut that out and use it uh, but I'm gonna put them together in families so that um, when I wrap that window I'll wrap it with the same thing so what I need to do is measure the gap and figure out if I want to keep the uh, the top parts I just need a few minutes to think about design is all I need to do. Really good. Where's old Where's old Hank? I can't feed you without Hank. Why don't you go get him? Then I'll feed you. Yeah? Oh, there he is. All right. All right, so I'm going to cut these up in two-inch strips because that's how much that window is. And... Uh, then put it on a backer board and then prop those up in there. It'll be a little bit while I think about it. I'm designing while I'm working. <laughs> Get a couple of good panels out of it and then a couple of off cuts. Two of those and two off cuts so if they were six inch I was hoping that I could get six you know three pieces per board but they're all put together with little dolls in them and uh, you know they're split and whatnot so I don't know what I'll do with that but I'll save those for now all right so I ended up with uh, these two inch strips that are usable and uh, these two inch strips that uh, aren't usable in their form. But what I'm gonna do is just use those as backer boards to make that a thicker board. Uh, so when I put it up and prop up the drywall, I have a bigger footprint to prop up the drywall. And uh, it is, the drywall is screwed and anchored to the, uh, to the joist in the ceiling, but uh, I just, think thicker would be better when it wave around so the way I'll get my nail gun some glue I'll glue those up and nail them and then I'll cut them all up into usable components for me to put up above that window and then we'll see what that looks like well let's put this all together and see if it fits above that window then we'll make the little corner pieces
I like how I was able to get it to roughly align right there. I mean, there's still a seam and everything, but it feels like it's an intentional seam. Out of these couple of pieces. <clears throat> Well, that doesn't look too bad. Let's go up there and see if we could get that in. puts me in a little quandary, but it's what I wonder. Should I put it right flush? That little decorative strip, or should I recess it a smidgen? And the right answer is as flush as possible. It, it looks much better. So let me fix that up and put some nails in there, and then that will be good enough for that. Then I'll do the two corners, which will need a 45. All right, so there's one of my little my little corners all, all done. So I'm hoping that that seals up. I'll sand that uh, later on or file it so it looks really, really good. It'll all get painted so it won't be this brown. I'm not sure which color. So I don't video when I'm doing really dangerous stuff because I don't want everybody to holler at me. You know, <laughs> nothing's right uh, for safety on that. So I, I don't, don't bother. But it's a 45 on the table saw. I measure them. I couldn't find my... Uh, uh, you know, my miter saw. So I'm, I'm doing what I can to get this job done. So, but I didn't video it because I don't want to hear complaints. But there we go. Let's put this thing up. All right. Ooh, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see if this will just go right in. Oh my gosh, my handshake is. All right. Holding it with the other hand. All right. Let's get a little board and hammer and hammer that home. All right, so that's that's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. So let's finish up this last corner that's just dangling in space, and then I have oh same kind of gaps over there. All right, so I'm cutting 45s there. So I cut that a little long. Well, I could do that and cut it off the end, and then I'd have the right length. So let's do that. See if I can do that without shaking. I'm gonna prop my hand up. We shall see. All right, I'm gonna need a little hammer, I see. Let's get the hammer. Hope it fits. <laughs> well, I'm rather pleased with the symmetry of all of that. The beam looks like it just disappears into the other beam. The found piece looks just like You'd find in a Spanish mission here in Texas. They always did this kind of thing. Really enjoy that. All right, so this is Steve at Thousand Year Homes. I'm building a house that'll last a thousand years and I'm making it look like a Spanish mission style using a lot of found materials that are already hundreds of years old. So that, that's looking pretty good. It, it looks Spanish mission. I was a little worried that it'd come off too Asian because those were uh, Asian panels from a restaurant, obviously and uh, been out weathered and beat up. And, but they had flowers, and of course the uh, carnation is the flower of Spain. So uh, good harmony, it kind of feels like that. So I will do that and other things throughout the, uh, the rest of this as I reach the drywall spot. Rotate. Uh, now I could continue on with the drywall. This is the unfinished side, that's the side scratch coats in. So, you know, before and after, right there, looking at you. 
And I just couldn't be more pleased with this. I, I really, uh, it looks great. So, so pleased. So like, subscribe, follow me along. Thank you. Bye-bye.